Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly find and change the keyboard settings on your Android phone. Let's get straight into it. I'm on my phone and looking at a page view of some of my apps. It's quick to update the keyboard settings on your Google phone, but it can be tricky to do if you've not tried it before. In this guide, I'll show you how to do that in five simple steps. I know that sounds like a lot, but I promise you will be done in less than two minutes. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to open the keyboard settings for my phone. A quick way to do that is to bring the keyboard up on your phone. I'll tap on the Google search bar at the bottom of the page. Once the keyboard is on the screen, you'll see there's a small settings cog icon shown at the top of the keyboard. If I quickly tap that, then we're taken to the settings for your keyboard. This page offers a number of options, but in this guide, we'll look at some of the main ones. We'll start with languages. If I tap into that, you'll see that the languages I currently use on my phone are displayed, English US and English UK. To add an additional language, all I need to do is tap the Add Keyboard option. On doing that, a list of all the available languages I can then add are shown. Let's add the first language, Abkhaz, by tapping it once and then confirming that. We can return to the original options list by tapping the back arrow at the top left of the app. The next option we'll look at is Preferences. Tapping into that, you'll see a number of actions are hidden behind that option, including adding a number rule to your keyboard or adding a dedicated button for emojis. To turn on any of these, just tap on the switch next to it. You should take your time to review all the alternatives shown on this page and amend the best ones for you. Let's return back to our main settings page. Now, let's take a look at the theme for your keyboard. Tapping into that, you'll see a wide range of color options and backgrounds is displayed. To add any of these to your keyboard, just tap on your preferred color. A preview of the keyboard with a the new theme is then displayed. You can tweak that by removing borders from keys on the board, but I personally prefer those to stay. You should choose the setup and theme that works best for you. The last option we'll look at in this guide is the text correction setting. Again, this section provides a long list of settings options that manage how suggestions and corrections should work on your keyboard. You can alter whether contacts are suggested by Google when you type, or even whether autocorrection is used when you type messages on your phone. You'll see that the settings section offers many more options on how your keyboard can be edited. Take the time to review and update these to get your keyboard working just right for you. Returning to our home screen and opening the keyboard as before, you'll see that our theme has now changed and a message has appeared to confirm that a new language has been successfully installed. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.